All right. My next player is Chase Edmonds. Um, Chase Edmonds is my bet to finish as the number one running back for the Miami Dolphins this season. I, think I was going to say, how many people do you think that are listening to this to be like, he's still on the Cardinals, right? <laughs> or is he on the Raiders? <laughs> Which guy is that? Who? Like, I feel like, like he's just a guy that uh, has kind of gotten lost in the shuffle a little bit. He has. He has shuffled around a bit. Um, but I think he can do a lot worse than Chase Edmonds. He's currently going in the late eighth round, just behind Penny, who we just got done talking about. Um, new coach, Mike McDaniel, is a, is a Kyle Shanahan protege. He's uh, crafting his own rushing attack similar to the one that he led in San Francisco. And I think that Chase Edmonds is really kind of perfect for that role. Um, Mostert is there, but the dude's over 30 and has like 1,600 yards in his eight year injury riddled career. Uh, Does he I really, say 1,600 injuries or yards? Yeah, yeah, 1,600 yards in eight years. So not, not one, eight. Uh, I really think that Edmonds is the guy that you want here. I think he's a value at his current ADP. And um, Mike McDaniel, that was kind of a I don't know if you got to see anything, any highlights of their first preseason game. Uh, it was kind of a fun little offense to watch. They say they ran the same little tight end motion across their formation and then did three different plays out of it all on like the same drive. It was really cool to see. So it's going to be an interesting offense. They're going to create ways for their guys to get open. Um, Mike McDaniel, first year head coach for the Finns. Um Again, Chase Edmonds starting running back in the eighth round. Uh, that's that's silly value uh, to me. Yeah, especially to right to your point, starting running back. That's also a staple of the of the Shanahan offense is just motion and running plays off the motion and giving the same looks and then being completely different plays. And it's it's hard to hard to game plan against and and defend against. Uh, Edmonds has never really done anything. Like, I, I think that's probably the, the one concern, right? I mean, he had his most yardage ever last year, which is surprising, right, for the, for the Cardinals. Uh, nearly 600 yards uh, is, his, is his largest rushing output. Um, he also had 43 catches, 53 catches the year before. So if they're going to use him out of the backfield a lot, especially as you have Waddle and Cheetah and Gesicki running down the field and they're going to be checking it down to Edmonds, I think there's a good amount of value there uh, from a receiving standpoint as well, uh, which you, I feel like you didn't really see as part of the 49ers offense all that much was was uh, Mitchell or Mostert or whoever uh, was there running back at a given time, really catching the ball out of the backfield much, which is something that I think Edmonds brings a lot to the table on. 